Hi, I'm Neil, and today's story is how cats became domesticated. Once upon a time, Cat was wild. She did her own thing, as cats do even today. She sunbathed when she wanted, she groomed herself, she hunted, and just did whatever she wanted, whenever she wanted, really. But after some time, some months, maybe even years passed, she began to get a little bored and a bit fed up with her own company. And she really wanted a mate, a companion. She wanted someone to spend time with. So she went and looked for one. She spent some time observing a male cat, watching him hunt and watching him sunbathe, groom himself, climb trees. And after some time she thought, hmm, yeah, he seems like a good sort. I'll hang out with him for a while. And so she did. And they groomed each other, they hunted together. They climbed trees together. They spent time in the sun and under the shade tree. After some time and out of nowhere, one day from the jungle came leopard and bowled over the male cat and squashed him flat. <laughs> no more male cat. And at first she was a little bit shocked and she was a bit surprised and a bit sad. And then after a while, she thought to herself, hmm, actually, that was quite impressive. That was pretty impressive, that muscular, flexible leopard with his fancy spots. Hmm, I think I'll hang out with him for a while. And so she did. And they hunted together and they sunbathed together. And at night time, they slept high up in the tree and she felt safe and she felt happy with the leopard until one day out of the jungle came elephant. And he came tromping, um, pom, 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 squashed the leopard flat. And she was a bit shocked at this at first and she was sad and she was surprised and, and she thought, actually, that mighty majestic elephant was quite impressive. I think I'll hang out with him for a while. And it was a really good, relationship they would spend time together and of course as you probably know rabbits rabbits not rabbits <laughs> elephants don't like mice and cats love to hunt, hunt mice so it was a good relationship and they spent time together and while elephant was bathing in the water cat would lie under the shade tree and this continued for some time until one day from nowhere bang down went elephant and cat was shocked and surprised and she spent some time with elephant's body on the floor and then she spotted a creature shoot out from behind a rock and her curiosity got the better of her and she followed the creature back to a village and the mud huts and it was man and she followed man to his mud hut and she clambered up onto the thatched roof and spent some time there and hung out with man. And man every so often threw her some scraps. And this was a good relationship and she was getting free food and catching bit mice occasionally. Until one day there was a hell of a commotion inside the mud hut and there was banging of pans and shouting and screaming and out of the hut tumbling head over hills came man pursued by woman who was picking up whatever she could get into her hands and throwing at him and he man cowered and ran away and the cat thought hmm, who is this woman who is this woman creature i think i'll hang out with her for a while so she stayed up on the thatch and she got past scraps and slowly and gradually woman began to leave scraps on the floor and encouraged cat to come inside the mud hut where there cat found the fire and she curled up by the fire which is where i think you'll still find cat today 
And that's the story of how cat became domesticated. And not only that, but how cat discovered that not the male cat, not the leopard, nor the mighty majestic elephant, nor man, but woman is the finest creature of all.